Moving on, sustainability platform Tapfin, which focuses on providing a variety of services, including financing and insurance to startups and MSMEs within the sustainability ecosystem, bagged $4 million in a seed funding round led by Eleva Equity. Founded in 2023, Tapfin, in addition to facilitating financing and insurance opportunities for companies in the sustainability space, also aims to create an ecosystem among these companies to offer services such as demand aggregation, market linkages, other value-added services. Joining us now on the hot seat is Taniza Berry, the co-founder and CEO of Tapfin. Taniza, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Now, you know, as I mentioned, you're a sustainability platform facilitating India's net zero ambitions. So you cater to MSMEs and startups in the clean mobility area. So talk to us about what's on offer. What's the business model at this point? Hi, Arundhati. Thank you for having us on the show. Uh, at Tafin, we are building a technology-led full-stack platform that offers multiple solutions and propositions uh, to a very diverse set of participants in each vertical of sustainability. You know, given the nascency of this ecosystem, uh, we have adopted an ecosystem uh, approach wherein we want to go deep uh, in each vertical, build specialization, and then get all the participants of that ecosystem on the platform, offer them relevant solutions and build their linkages. So we've launched uh, you know, our proposition with clean mobility uh, and financing and demand aggregation. Right, and uh, you raised $4 million a few weeks ago. So where will you spend that money? Any new offerings in the pipeline? Uh, yes, so first and foremost, of course, uh, this is going to be a huge enabler in us, uh, you know, achieving our vision of creating India's leading sustainability platform. Uh, we plan to deploy these funds uh, to build out our technology and data capabilities. Uh, also increase a market presence uh, because, you know, sustainability adoption in India is going to be not just driven by metros, but also tier two and three cities and uh, hire the right set of people who believe in our vision. Uh, so, yes. All right, so a few things on your agenda there. You're currently only focusing on the clean mobility space, but you hope to enter solar and other renewable energy technologies as well. So how soon will we see this happen? What are the plans on this front? So like I mentioned, we believe in verticalization of each segment of sustainability. Uh, you know, we've already sort of set up the building foundation for the clean mobility platform on Tafwin. And very soon, we will actually also be venturing into solar. Of course, sustainability as an ecosystem is very vast. You know, you have circularity, you have clean agri-tech, you have water management, you have other renewable energy sources. So we will start building all of them uh, as we go along. So one at a time, so you will build them along the way. Now, you started in 2023. What's your revenue model? What are the revenues you're clocking at this point? And uh, what are the targets for this year? Uh, you know, given the very early stage of Tafin, uh, our primary focus has been to get key ecosystem participants on the platform so far. Uh, like I mentioned, we've launched financing and demand aggregation proposition in the clean mobility space uh, through our partnership with top OEMs and leading banks and NBFCs in India. Now that we've started to build that out uh, and now we've been able to raise funds, we will now start building uh, our proposition out even deeper. And that's when we'll actually start seeing a lot more uh, you know, revenue uh, and possibly, yes, at that point in time, possibly I can answer your question better. Uh, all right. Now, um, you said finance and demand aggregation is what you're focusing on. You also have insurance offerings. Um, what's doing better? Where is the demand right now coming from? And uh, what are the claims you've been able to see or facilitate or how much have you been able to uh, disburse at this point? So, uh, while, of course, if you look at our financing uh, MOUs that we've been able to sign, we already have about 80, 90 odd crores of requirements in the pipeline. Uh, insurance as a value proposition, as a value added service, along with roadside assistance, uh, extended warranties is something that we are going to launch very soon. All right. It's something you're going to launch soon. But, uh, you know, also talk to us about the client and clients you're currently catering to. Uh, you also hope to go deeper in tier two and three markets. So what's the opportunity here? I think the good news about sustainability is honestly the push from government, you know, it's positive signaling and the demand by the private sector. For us, the customer or a prospect is anyone and everyone. Uh, let's say we started with clean mobility. So in the EV ecosystem, now this could be a fleet uh, operator, a cab aggregator, a charging point operator, battery manufacturer, dealership, OEM, anyone 
for whom we can unlock income uh, or economic and entrepreneurial potential. Those are our customers. Right. So those are your customers. Now, sustainability is a huge thing and everybody is talking about it. So what's the opportunity you see and what is the trend that you're currently seeing, especially with clean mobility? So you do see growth. Of course, it's happening in silos, which is again a huge opportunity for a platform like ours, you know, which wants to enable the ecosystem by offering multiple propositions that cater to all requirements. For sustainability itself, uh, there are reports that indicate uh, India will need more than $2 trillion investment by 2030 itself. And that money, that investment, that delivery of services is not going to happen through conventional means and approaches, which is, again, a huge opportunity for new age players like us. Right. And, you know, speaking about uh, the opportunity here, also, by when do you hope to start making money? What is the plan looking like going forward? Uh, right now, I think the focus for us is really build out both proposition and keep getting participants, build those linkages. Uh, so, yes, I mean, and that is what we want to start with clean mobility. In a few months, you'll see us live in solar. Every vertical will have very contextual offerings as well as revenue models. Uh, you know, for example, in clean mobility, you will have a customer who only needs financing. There's another customer who needs demand aggregation. In solar, you may have a customer who needs financing, but a different uh, sort of EPC proposition that we need to build out there. So every vertical, a different revenue stream, a different model, uh, a different proposition set. Some, of course, could be common. All right. And, uh, you know, how do you plan to take on the big boys in the sector at this point? How do you plan to take on competition? Uh, you know, the challenge of nascency of the ecosystem is honestly our biggest opportunity as well. Today, uh, the sector itself, barring a few large players, uh, which are, let's say, offering one or two services, this entire segment is being driven by MSMEs and startups and households. Now, a platform that wants to bring together all participants where you can connect users of services with providers of services, uh, you know, under one roof. I think to us, that opportunity is a fairly innovative way of delivering a solution which is yet to be seen in the market. All right, Aniza, thank you so much for joining us on the show. We're completely out of time and we wish you all the best in building your uh, company at this point. Thank you so much, Arundhati. It was a pleasure. All right, on that note, it's time for us to...